Hi guys. What do we have today? Here we have predictions for today's 9 NBA games. Let's get started. Phoenix Suns and Charlotte Hornets. The Suns have won 6 of their past 9 games and have been in pretty good form. The Hornets have struggled for most of the season, but a 5 game winning run has given them a boost. This season, the Suns' performance on the road wasn't always at its best. They have won just 12 of their 31 away games. Recently, the Suns have performed better away from home. Their previous six road games had four victories, with three of those six games covering the spread. The Hornets are not playing well at home. In the season, they won just 10 of their 29 home games. Only two of their recent seven home games have ended in a win, while three covered the spread. Head to head, the Suns won in three and covered the spread in two of the last five games against the Hornets they have played in Charlotte. Kevin Durant is anticipated to make his Suns debut in this game, while the Hornets are without PJ Washington and LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball's injury and absence for the remainder of the season might hurt the Hornets' performance, especially on the offense side, despite their recent strong play. The Suns have gone under in five of their previous six away games, while the Hornets have gone under in four of their last five home games. Play Phoenix Suns and Charlotte Hornets under 228. Chicago Bulls and Detroit Pistons. The Bulls are on a back-to-back, -back, including travel. They have been in a funk after losing seven of their past nine games. The Pistons have dropped eight of their last nine games and will try to snap a five-game losing streak today. The Bulls have been playing poorly in road games since the beginning of the season. They only triumphed in 10 of their 31 road games. Their road performance hasn't gotten much better recently. The Bulls have dropped their last five away games and failed to cover the spread in any of that five. The Pistons have had trouble winning in Detroit from the start of the season. They have only eight wins in their previous 30 home games. The Pistons have recently only won three games while covering the spread four times in their last 10 home games. Head to head, the Bulls covered the spread in six of the last seven games against the Pistons in Detroit. Since the beginning of the season, the Bulls have not played well in back-to-back -back games since they have lost seven of 11 back-to-backs. The Bulls haven't played well on the road since the start of the season, and currently, they have a five-game road losing streak. The Pistons aren't a strong team at home, but changes to the starting lineup have boosted their performance, particularly on the defense side. Play Detroit Pistons plus 6. Cleveland Cavaliers and Boston Celtics. The Cavaliers have been in excellent form, having won 8 of their past 11 games. The Celtics have been on a roll, winning 9 of their last 12 games. The Cavaliers have a decent record on the road. 13 of their 31 road games this season saw them win and cover the spread. The Cavs have recently played significantly better on the road. They have won and covered the spread in four of their previous eight road games. This season, the Celtics have been among the best at home. 24 of their 31 home games were wins, with 18 of those covering the spread. They had recently won nine of their previous 11 home games, but just six had covered the spread. Head to head, the Cavaliers covered the spread in three of the last 11 games against the Celtics in Boston. This is the third game this season between those two teams. The Cavaliers won in both previous two games. The Celtics must find a way to beat this great Cavaliers team. The third consecutive lost game against the Cavaliers for the Celtics would mean they don't have the weapons to pose them. The Cavaliers are a potential opponent for the Celtics in the second round of the playoffs. Play Boston Celtics minus 5. Philadelphia 76ers and Miami Heat. The Sixers have been in good form, having won 7 of their past 11 games, but they will be looking to end a two-game losing streak tonight. The Heat have been suffering since they've dropped 6 of their past 10 games. The Sixers are one of the league's best row teams. They won 15 of their 26 road games this season. They have recently performed well away from home. They had won 9 of their previous 11 away games but failed to cover the spread in 6 of them. The Heat have been dominant at home since the start of the season. They had won 19 of their previous 29 home games, but just 8 of those 29 covered the spread. They've won 5 of their last 6 home games, but just once have they covered the spread. Head to head, the Sixers covered the spread once only in the last 5 games against the Heat in Miami. These two teams played against each other two days ago in Philadelphia, and the Heat won. The Sixers are in better shape than their opponent today, and they perform well on the road, despite their loss two days ago. Play 76ers minus 1.5.
Brooklyn Nets and New York Knicks. The Nets are on a back-to-back. -back. They have dropped seven of their past nine games, which indicates a significant slump, and they will be aiming to avoid suffering a fourth straight loss tonight. Since winning eight of their past nine games, the Knicks have been on a roll and will go for their seventh straight win tonight. The Nets played pretty well on the road this season. They won 16 out of their 31 road games. They've struggled recently in road games, winning only two and covering the spread in four of their last nine road games. This season the Knicks play well on their home court. They have won 18 of their 33 home games. In their recent games, the Knicks won and covered the spread seven times in their 10 home games. Head to head, the Nets won in five of the last seven games against the Knicks. They have played in Madison Square Garden. The Nets played well in the back-to-backs. Since the start of the season, they have won 6 of 10 back-to-backs. This is the Nets' second consecutive game. They played outstanding defense in yesterday's game against the Bucks until the last quarter. The Nets will have a tough time winning this game because, in addition to being worn out, they are up against the Knicks, who are playing their best basketball of the season. Play New York Knicks minus 7. Memphis Grizzlies and Houston Rockets. The Grizzlies have been in good form since they've won five of their past seven games, and they will be looking for a third consecutive victory tonight. The Rockets have been playing poorly recently, since they look to snap a 10-game losing streak here. The Grizzlies aren't very good on the road. This season, they won 11 of their 29 road games while covering the spread in only nine. Since dropping their last eight road games while only covering the spread once, the Grizzlies are currently playing their worst road ball. On their court, the Rockets do not play very well. They only triumphed in 8 of their 29 home games this season. They have only won 2 of their last 9 home games, but 4 of those 9 have seen them cover the spread. Head to head, the Grizzlies won in 4 but covered the spread in 3 of the last 6 games against the Rockets in Houston. Both teams are on a back-to-back -back while the Grizzlies have had to travel. The Grizzlies split their last eight back-to-back -back games, while the Rockets won only one of the previous nine back-to-back -back games they have played this season. It's hard to trust the Grizzlies in road games since they lost their last eight road games, but it's even harder to trust the Rockets. Play Memphis Grizzlies and Houston Rockets over 229.5. Orlando Magic and Milwaukee Bucks. The Magic are in good form, having won six of their past ten games. The Bucks are on a back-to-back, including travel. They have been on a roll lately, winning 17 of their last 18 games, and they'll be looking to extend their 16-game winning streak tonight. This season, the Magic were not at their best on the road. Just 11 of their 31 road games were victories. They have recently played substantially better in road games, winning 6 of their last 10 while covering the spread in 7. Since the beginning of the season, the Bucks have been among the league's top home court teams. They triumphed in 26 of their 31 home games. They recently won 10 straight games at home, but just 5 of those 10 covered the spread. Head to head, the Magic lost 5 straight games while covering the spread in 3 of that 5 against the Bucks in Milwaukee. The Bucks won 6 of the last 7 back-to-backs from the beginning of the season. The backs are in great shape, but this line shouldn't be that high since the Magic are playing their best ball right now. Play Orlando Magic plus 9. Los Angeles Lakers and Oklahoma City Thunder. Since winning four of their past six games, the Lakers have been in good shape. The Thunder have been in a slump, losing five of their past six games, and will be looking to avoid a fifth straight setback tonight. This season, the Lakers play decently on the road. This season, they have won 14 of their 33 road games. Their road performance has lately improved. Four of the Lakers' previous nine road games have been won and covered. So far this season, the Thunder have played pretty well at home. They won 17 of their 30 games at home. They have won and covered the spread in three of their past eight home games. Head to head, the Lakers covered the spread in only five of the last 17 games against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. The Lakers have won five of their last nine back-to-backs, while the Thunder have split their last eight. On the home court, the Thunder are a better team than the Lakers. Play Oklahoma City Thunder plus one. New Orleans Pelicans and Portland Trail Blazers. The Pelicans have been in a funk since losing five of their past six games, and they will be keen to snap a four-game losing streak today. The Trail Blazers are on a back-to-back, -back, including travel. They have been stuck in a slump after losing six of their previous eight games. The Pelicans struggle on the road. This season, 
They have only won 10 of their 31 road games. They recently won one of their past nine road games, covering the spread in three of those nine. The Trailblazers played pretty decently at home all season long. In their last 31 home games, they have won 17 of them. Recent home performances by the Trailblazers have not been great. In only three of their past six home games, they managed to win and cover the spread. Head to head, the Pelicans covered the spread in three of the last five games against the Trailblazers in Portland. The Trailblazers are good in back-to-back -back since they have won six of the ten they have played this season. Both teams are out of shape, but the Trailblazers are playing at home, which should give them a significant advantage in this matchup. Play Portland Trailblazers minus 1.5. Guys, that's all. Thanks for joining us today. See you tomorrow.